red wine braised short ribs. Fall off the bone. Where's the meat in the pot? Where's the bone on the spoon? So I have five pounds of bone in short ribs in a bowl here. I'm just gonna add liberal salt and pepper because this is a lot of short rib. A half a cup of flour, and the flour is gonna help get this really nice brown sear. And I'm only using enough flour to coat the short ribs. We're not deep frying them. I'm just gonna sear all sides of my beef ribs, creating a nice little crispy layer. What's left over in the pot is the start of your layers of flavor. While that's searing, I'm gonna get my veggies ready. So I have carrots, celery, onion, and garlic. I'm just gonna put this in my food processor. Everything is gonna break down in that oil and it's gonna really enhance the flavor of those short ribs. I'm adding two stalks of celery, one large white onion, and three cloves of garlic. So I'm processing my carrots, onion, and celery. Make sure all those chunks of veggies are broken down. All right, that's great. Let me turn my short ribs, let them cook on the other side. Look how brown they are. There's some crust down there from the flour and oil. That's where all of the flavor lies. They are done. Mm -hmm. They smell incredible. I'm just gonna add my sauteed veggies right to the mixture in the pot with the oil left over from the short ribs. I'm just cooking the veggies until they become nice and soft and some of that uh, liquid from the veggies cooks out. Now I'm gonna add some tomato paste. The tomato paste is gonna help it thicken up as well. Now, I'm gonna add some flour, and that's gonna help the braising liquid get just a little bit more thick. Pinch of Italian seasoning, that's oregano, parsley, thyme, two cups of beef broth. The beef broth is really gonna enhance that flavor. The fun part, one bottle dry red wine. I'm gonna reduce this wine by half and then add in my beef ribs. And I'm gonna add a bay leaf. All right, I'm gonna let this reduce by half, so that should take about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna let this bake at 300 for three hours to get that meat super, super tender. And when it comes out, it will fall off the bone. Mm -mm -mm. 